What you are seeing on your screen is an AI integrated marine robotic boat built for collecting floating waste. This technology is designed to tackle one of today's pressing environmental challenges. Initially tried in Bali, Indonesia for tourism purposes, the AI integrated technology has now been brought to Meghalaya to combat waste management issues. The government of Meghalaya, in partnership with technology innovator Clearbot, has initiated the collection of waste accumulated at the popular Umyam Lake over the years under the Smart Village Movement project. The pilot project or demonstration took place at Kundong Rela in the Maudun area of Umyam Lake to test its potential to revolutionize waste collection in other parts of the state and the region as well. Over the years, we have seen several initiatives taken. Groups have been formed to try to rejuvenate and revive the rivers of Meghalaya. Here, right in the middle of where the waste has accumulated in Umyam River, we have uh, witnessed a robot clearing up the waste, which is a new initiative that has been started or being led by the Smart Village Movement. I am being joined by Project Lead. Sir, if you can introduce yourself first. Hi, my name is Panchai Mapna. So I'm the project fellow of this uh, of Smart Village Movement. I'm also leading this project, Clearbot. Okay. Tell us firstly more what is a Smart Village Movement? So Smart Village Movement is actually uh, an organization that uh, mostly focus on bringing in technologies uh, like, uh, like some kind of innovation where we focus on uh, solving the pain points of the rural communities. Yeah. Okay. And with this initiative that has been started to clear up or clean up uh, the river Umyam, where we can see a lot of waste has accumulated, mm -hmm. uh, what has been done from your end? What did you all, which is the uh, organi uh, uh, company that you've all, you know, approached? So, uh, in order to solve this uh, pain point, we have approached many companies actually, but there are a few companies that, uh, uh, that respond back. So one of them is Clearbot. So as you can see, Clearbot is uh, now is our partner, and we have started uh, this project, and it has been uh, actually for one week now, and today is a final demonstration. Okay. And do you think with this demonstration or this pilot project that was carried out, do you think that you are going to get a green signal to go ahead and uh, fully start this uh, project? Yeah, I'm very positive since uh, I think from, even from the community le uh, leaders or community members, they said that they have never seen such such te technology or such initiative from the government or from any organization. So this is, I think, it's our I first time yeah. with this robot. I think, yeah. Okay. It's a green now, signal. talking about the waste that has been collected, we see Cle uh, Clearbot does the job, uh, yeah. takes their robot here, mm. cleans up, collects the waste, and uh, almost like how, many, how, how much kg are we talking about the waste that they uh, collected today? Uh, 20 or 200? So, yeah, so uh, per bag is 20 kg, so 7 bags means uh, uh, 140 kg. 140, 140 kg. kg. So, say if it reaches 200 kg, after that, that day's waste collected, yeah. does it go back to Martin landfill or where does it go? So actually, uh, see, the, see, in a waste, there are recycling waste and there are non-recycling waste. Recycling waste, we are planning to give to recyclers. And the non-recycling waste, the uh, municipal will come and collect it and dump it okay. in the landfill. Do you think, you know, you yourself being from Meghalaya, it's yes. sad to see that such a beautiful I river. Know. When we go I that know. side to the yeah. main river, it's very clean, people, a lot of tourists. Yes. But the ugly side of Umyam, yeah. this waste has accumulated, is it only from the... Uh, overflowing of Martin or is it from whole of no, Meghalaya or, or not, Shillong I mean? I th I th yeah, I believe it's from the whole of Shillong because there are two rivers are connecting to this lake, Umsharpi and Wa Umkra. So those okay. two rivers, I think I think uh, most of you know that they have been in the list of the most dirtiest rivers in, mm. I think, in India. Mm. So, yeah. So a smart village movement has started Umyam, uh, uh, Umyam Lake. Next, will you also be looking to work on more rivers of Meghalaya? Yes, actually we are, actually we are, we are scanning which which is the next river to mm -hmm. clean up I after. I think my suggestion would be no, uh, Nonba, which is in Nongstoin. I think that is also very polluted. Okay, yeah, West yeah. Hills. we can take that. Yeah, <laughs> suggestion? thank you for your suggestion. Yeah. Now, um, if uh, what is your message to the people who, because you all are doing your mm. bit here, yeah, you are trying your best, you have brought a uh, clear bot yeah. trying to help you all, but ultimately to connect to the people, those who are watching right now, what would you like to uh, tell them? Yeah. I want to tell everyone to please stop throwing garbage to the rivers or water bodies or any, anywhere. I mean, uh, don't just throw to... Because see, Meghalaya is very 
it's very beautiful. Mm -hmm. It is in fact a pride to the state. Right. But if we throw garbage, uh, as you can see, yeah, we are dotting right. our own homes. Following the demonstration, about 250 kilos of waste was collected in around three hours. This amalgamation of artificial intelligence and marine engineering exemplified the convergence of innovation and sustainability. The project also brought together a diverse group of stakeholders, from the Meghalaya Energy Corporation Limited to the Meghalaya Tourism Development Corporation, the Tourism Department, local municipal authorities, village leaders, fishermen and community members. Clearbot, meanwhile, is positive that if initiated, the lake can be cleaned up in just over six months and pave the way for holistic rural development. In a first of its kind, the Meghalaya government has taken an initiative to collaborate with the Smart Village Movement to clean up the several years of waste that has accumulated here in Umyam River. I'm being joined, Issa, if you can introduce yourself first, please. Hi, I'm Utkarsh and I'm one of the co-founders of Clearboard. Okay, can you tell us more about this movement here? So, here in Umyam Lake, you can see around, there's a lot of trash uh, that's been collecting from, you know, the nearby uh, water bodies. And what we're doing here is we're basically trying to do a pilot project to clean up this waste, to show to the local authorities that, you know, using robots, autonomous robots, is feasible to clean up this all of this plastic waste in the river. Okay, but with this, uh, this is a pilot project, so what's going to happen? How, uh, how many days of uh, this initiative uh, that you all are trying out? So we've been here since Monday, right? On Monday we came here, scouted the site, understood, you know, where the real problem is, right? And then now on Wednesday, since Wednesday, we've been sort of running the robot for about two hours every day. And we've collected uh, about 200, 250 kgs of rubbish in that time period. When you say uh, 200 kg, uh, is it a per day or uh, how many hours does it take to collect that much of waste? So we are collecting around 60 to 70 kgs an hour, uh, anywhere near that. Right. And our boat has a capacity of 200 kgs. Okay. So we've been collecting 200, about 200 to 50 kgs over the, the last three days, including today. Okay. Yeah. Now, f uh, for you looking at this waste here, how many days or will it take years to complete or to clean up the Toll River of Umyam? I, I might be being optimistic, but I think we can finish the job in six months to a year. Right. If we are running our robots here on a daily basis, I think we it, we would we would see a huge difference in just six months to a year. Okay. Can yeah. the robot work for more than twelve hours, or what's the? Uh... The robot can run for four hours in one in one go. In right? one go. Yeah. So it needs to run for four hours and then put itself on charge for about four to five hours again, okay. and then it can go run another four hours. Right. So on a daily basis, even if we run for four hours, we're, we're going to be collecting anywhere from 200 to 250 kgs in, in a day. Okay. Right. So that's that's a lot of waste. Can you also tell us more about your team? Yeah, so actually Clearboard is a, is a 15 people small startup. Right? We started about two and a half, three years ago, uh, approximately, but just before COVID. And we've been building these robots. Um, we started from a very small robot in 2019. And then since then, we've sort of built this up into the robot that you're seeing. And in September, we're going to launch a much bigger robot that can clean these kind of waterways. Okay. Yeah. And uh, has this uh, uh, robot been used anywhere else or this is... The first time that we're seeing this come to use. So this robot has been used in Bangalore before this, and okay. we've also been internationally uh, looking at Hong Kong, Singapore. Uh, we've we've got about eight boats in Hong Kong already cleaning the Hong Kong islands and nearby seas. Okay. Right. And and now this is the first time we are here in Meghalaya. Okay. And uh, like, how did this idea come about? Did the government approach you? What? How did it all begin? So this started actually with SVM, with Smart Village Movement, uh, sort of reaching out to us hmm. and telling us that you know they have a problem with, with the trash here and they said that they feel that you know we could do a pilot here and prove to the local authorities that our robot could be feasible to clean these kind of waterways so uh, so okay. that's why we're here once you uh, collect all the waste from here then take it on your boats after that what happens where does the waste uh, where is it taken so for the past three days we've been taking all of this waste back to the shore okay. and uh, we are putting them in plastic bags and in, in these uh, rubbish bags Right, and we're gonna give them to the trucks that come to clean trash, okay. uh, and we've arranged for a truck for now, 
Okay. Right. Uh, in a long-term solution, we're going to be looking at uh, recycling options, seeing how this ha waste can be handled properly, essentially. Right. But for a pilot, we've been we are just making sure that we are getting it out of the water and into the right place, so okay. on the on the landfill or whatever that might be. Okay. And is this uh, robot or this uh, uh, that you've all invented here? Uh, is it something? Uh, uh, is it um, uh, feasible? Uh, not feasible. Is it uh, affordable, or what's the cost of? Yeah, sure. I mean, we give this out on a rent basis, right? Just like you would rent any machine to clean this water. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, you know, a lot of places use these excavators. You call them JCBs, right? right? And they're used to clean up waterways. But this is right in the middle of a lake, and I don't think a JCB can come here, right? But we kind of match the cost of those JCBs. It's almost the same price and, and is a lot more efficient because it's right in the water and we're collecting trash from, you know, directly from the source. So, okay. so uh, I mean, in terms of affordability, I believe local municipalities who are already spending on cleaning using right. JCBs can afford our robot. Okay. Yeah. And um, when it rains, because Meghalaya also experiences heavy rainfall, does it hmm. uh, is it going to be a problem to carry out this uh, 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 cleanup or is it okay? Our robots are quite weather resistant. We've built them to survive in seas. So okay. they can survive rain. They can survive, you know, even uh, heavy winds. Okay. With, with is actually yeah. okay so you're positive enough that you know you'll get a, a, a green uh, signal to go ahead yeah, after this pilot project. definitely i mean we're hoping that we get a green light on this and okay. we want to get as many boats as we can here to clean this up as quickly as possible right do you how many boats do you think will require to clean up the entire waste that we have here that's uh I, I think as many boats as we can put will be few for this place, I guess. But even if we can put, say, let's say five boats here, then that's going to be great. What's your message to the people of Meghalaya watching this, seeing their waste here? Um, I think I would say that first things first, um, let's care for the environment. Let's not throw rubbish into the water, right? And um, of course, a combined effort to clean the wa the waters here is gonna gonna make a huge difference to to the health, to to, to you know the the local community, every everyone. Okay, thank yeah. you so much, sir. Yeah. Well, that was Utkarsh here from Clearbot, who's given us more information about how the robot functions and that it is uh, it can survive the weather, be it uh, you know under the sea or anywhere. And they feel that this pilot project will definitely be a positive outcome to clean this entire waste that we can see right behind here, accumulating in Umyam River. This is Princess Rashir for EastMojo.com. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to East Mojo. For any queries, put them down in the comments section below and press on the bell icon for notifications.